Hello, my name is Dr. Prasad Raj Dandekar. I'm the head of the Department of Radiation Oncology at Sir H. N. Reliance Foundation Hospital. In oncology, we see all sorts of patients with cancer, and sometimes these cases, some of these cases, are very interesting. And it is gratifying for us to be able to help our patients to do their best. One such patient I want to share with you today. She was a young lady, 40 year old, presented to us with. extreme difficulty in breathing it was really scary to see her when she came to us and we realized that she had a very rare sort of a tumor in her windpipe or we what we call as trachea and that tumor was so large that it was blocking her windpipe so she was not able to breathe properly when we looked at her ct scan and the pet scan the tumor actually didn't look very large so our plan was to go in and do a surgical resection or operate that tumor and my colleague dr marzi mehta did the same he went in with a scope a bronchoscope and when he reached out there he realized that the tumor actually was quite large compared to what we are seeing on the ct it was sort of creeping up along the length of the trachea and causing making it impossible to surgically resect so what dr marzi did is he removed the part of the tumor relieved her breathing difficulty and came out and then there was a big question of what do we do now how do we cure this patient That's when I came in picture and uh, we discussed her case in our tumor board where all the different doctors medical oncology surgical oncology radiation oncology pathology radiology nuclear medicine come together to discuss difficult cases and we decided that we should treat her with the latest advanced radiotherapy called adaptive radiotherapy on our new ethos machine and it was so gratifying to treat this patient she landed up being world's first patient with tracheal tumor to be treated with adaptive radiotherapy and we are very proud to be the first one to do that to to help her to achieve that in this what we did is we treated her windpipe every day but we created the adaptive radiation plan which we were able to change every day to customize to what is happening inside her body so the treatment was not just focused and precise but it was also highly customized to that patient to that very day and the beauty of it was that she practically had no side effect during the course of the treatment except some minor difficulty in swallowing towards the end of the treatment she came to us 4 months after completion of the treatment and we were very happy to see that the scan was completely normal and we did the bronchoscopy which also showed there was no evidence of tumor and she is doing very well she is completely fit you will not believe that this patient has cancer now we also did one interesting thing we published her case report into a reputed journal and the idea behind that is if anybody else across the world comes up with a patient like this we share our knowledge and our experience with them so that no other patient suffers and they get the best of the treatment i'm really happy to be working on the adaptive radiotherapy on ethos where we are able to make such a deep impact on patients um, bodies and their tumors that we are able to help them to get the best care possible with the least side effects possible to know more about adaptive radiotherapy please get in touch with us we are happy to talk to you